Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pannika's Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss two interesting C programs on increment operators. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. Come to the program one. I have written hash include sto.h void main int x is equal to one comma y. So I have taken two integer variables x and y and I have initialized the x value as one. Then I have written a statement called y is equal to plus plus x plus 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 x. This plus plus x is what is a pre-increment operator. And this plus plus x is again a pre-increment operator. So you need to find the plus plus x value and plus plus x value. Then you need to perform the addition. Why it so is that compared to the addition and pre-increment here we have three operators are there. One is the assignment, pre-increment addition then pre-increment am i right or wrong so we have pre-increment addition and assignment among them pre-increment has the highest priority so first you need to perform the pre-increment then perform the addition then go for the assignment okay so now x value is initially we have taken x value as one okay now what is the pre-increment first it will perform the increment then it will assign the value am i right now plus plus x is nothing but you are performing the x value increment by 1. So plus plus x pre-increment. So x value will become 2. Okay. Is it clear? First you will get the value 2 here and then value also will be updated here 2. Then if you come here, what is the x value 2? So plus plus x. So it will become 3 and x also will be updated to 3. Okay, so lot of students will think that, sir, it is very simple question, 2 plus 3, y value will become 5, so it will print the y value as 5. If you are thinking like that, it is wrong. Why it is saying that, I said first you increment it, then assign. Now here you have incremented, but still you did not assign. Is it clear? Here you have incremented. Now the x value is what? 3. That value will be assigned here. So here instead of 2 you will get the 3 let me repeat again why you will get the value 3 here is instead of 2 is that pre increment is increment then assignment okay so here you have performed the increment here you perform the increment and that last you need to assign so at the last what is the x value 3 that value will be assigned so it will be 3 plus 3 so y will get the output as 6. I hope you have understood why the y value is becoming 6 instead of 5 because the pre-increment is nothing but first perform the increment then assignment. Okay. Now let me discuss another example where I have taken one pre-increment and one post-increment. Now let me discuss the same thing. Only modification I have done is that this y expression only. Okay, the remaining portion is same. So, x value I have taken it as 1. Okay, now y is equal to plus plus x. This is a pre increment. Okay, and this is a post increment. And then you have to perform the addition. Now, first you need to perform the pre increment plus plus x. Is it clear? Plus plus x is nothing but what? x value is 1, it will be updated to 2. Okay, good, x value is 2. Now come to the post increment. What is the post increment? First it will assign, then perform the increment. So it will be 2 and then it will perform the increment. Then x value will become 3. What is the pre-increment is doing? First it is incrementing, then it will assign. Now what is the x value? x value is 3. So here you will get the value 3. I hope you have understood. If you understand the simple logic, the pre-increment is first increment then assignment whereas post increment first assign then increment so that's why you are getting here 3 here you are getting 2 so 3 plus 2 you will get 5 okay so this program will give you the output as 6 this program will give you the output as 5 I hope you have understood if you did not understand I request you to watch the video again and also you execute these programs in your computer and check whether you are getting the correct output or not. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. In the next video, I will take 
two more interesting questions on the operators such as increment operator then you will understand about the increment operator such as pre-increment and post-increment in a better way because lot of students will do mistakes in the pre-increment and post-increment and majority of the questions if you go for any competition they will try to ask on this pre-increment and post-increment or pre-decrement and post-decrement okay don't worry I am there here to teach if you are ready to learn I will be very happy thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day.